Hello smart people, welcome back to this comments class. In today's video, I'm going to show you three ways you can convert a text file format to a CSV file format. So let's say you have a data set which is in text file format, but you want to convert that particular data set into a CSV file format. So here with me, I have the housing data set which is already in the text file format. So I'm going to show you the best three ways which you don't need any to to download or do it online okay so here's my data set and i have the columns if you can see i have the id date price bedrooms bathrooms etc yeah so the columns ends here and the rest are the records okay so the first method let's launch our excel I will show open now uh, Microsoft Excel. Okay. Now let's go to data. When you go to data, you see a lot of tools here. So the first one, let's search for the get data power query. And let's click on it. So you see get data power query, launch power query editor. Now let's search for from test legacy. That is the last but one item. Okay, now when you click on it, it takes you to the location where you want to get the data. Yeah, I have um, the same data, but I've renamed them. So they are, they are saved on the desktop. Okay, so let me select the first one. And now let me click on the get data. So when I click on the get data, this dialogs open where it shows you the delimited. It's already select the delimited for you. Okay, so always it should be selected. So if it changes to fixed, you need to change to the delimited. Okay. Now you click on the next. When you click on the next, by default, the the delimiters we have the tab by default is select the tab for you we have the semicolon we have the comma okay so what the delimiters talks about is the separation if you look at our test file the separation the comma separates every every record or every entry so here if you see a comma it means it's one entry one entry one entry one entry by one record so the entry is um, separated by the comma okay so now let's uncheck the tab and select the comma so as we know the comma is a separator and let's click on the next and finish now you are showing where you want to import the data to so we just want to import it in the the a1 sheet or the a1 cell let's click on the import okay when you click on the import as you can see the test file format how it was arranged every every entry and the comma now it puts every entry into a cell so so when so when we come here for instance you see the first entry here is it yeah so that is the ID. We have the dates. Yeah, that's okay. So this is the first method to convert a test file format to a CSV file format. Okay. So let's rename your first first method. Now let's move on to the second method. So the second method, I have my records here which is already in the 
test file format. Now I'll just copy them. I'll copy also Control A and Control C. I'll just copy O and Control V. Okay. So now I've placed the test format in the Excel. So it will take one cell in the spreadsheet. Now I'll highlight the cell and again go to the data. Now I'll go to the test to columns. When you click on the test to columns, the first method, first you go to the get data, you import the data. But the second method, you copy the the records or the data sets in the test file and you paste it in the Excel. So when you paste it in the Excel, it will take only one column. And now you 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 highlight it and come to the test to columns. So you see the same thing in the first method. So we have the delimited and as you can see the delimiters you can uncheck here is separated by comma next finish okay so I'll just close I'll just close it a bit okay so as you can see the second method now we have the second method second method Second method. Okay. You can, you can say it's the same thing. It's the same thing. So the difference between the first method and the second method is basically the same. But it's up to you when to use the first method or the second method. For me, when I'm using the first method, it means I have a large data set which um, I'll just import. The second method is when my data set is few. It's not that much. Like maybe thousand um, records or thousand um, rows I'll use. But if I'm having a huge data set like 10,000 going then if you do copy and paste depending on your machine you are using it might take time or it might even freeze because of the copy and paste. Okay so let's move to the last method. Now the last method, we have the data set in the test file format. So those of us who are using MacBook, if you open your test file, you see the, the name here. So let's say we have the housing sales. I can just change it. So let me change it to sales housing data sets data sets now I'll just change oh, sorry I'll add dot c as a if I want to differentiate the data sets file I have on the desktop that's why I've changed from housing sales to sales housing data sets now you just add .csv to the um, file name. Those of us using the Windows too, when you open your um, your data sets in the in the test file format, you can go to save as and you just add .csv to it. So when you are done, you just click on enter. Now let's go to the desktop and see. Okay. So as you can see, here yeah, we had two data sets. If you notice, the first one, the two of them were in the test file format. But now one has changed to the test file format to the CSN file. So I can go to open with, and I'll open with Excel. It will open. Okay. Okay, so 
There's a three ways you can convert from test file format to a CSV file format. That's all for today. I hope this video is helpful. Thanks for your time. See you in the next video. Peace.